Well, stage gate is, is, is pretty simple in concept. It's, it's basically uh, breaking a large uh, project into a series of stages with gates between them. You do some work, you gather some information, you assess the information, you make a decision. Do I continue? Do I continue to invest? Do I put more money in the game? And then you move to the next phase. So it's, it's really a, a way of taking any project, not just a, a new product project, but any project that is done over time and breaking it into a series of manageable bite-sized chunks with decision points along the way. Am I still in the game? Do I still invest? So it's a very, very sensible way of, of running any project, as we talked about, one way of mitigating risk. But, but if you think about it, it's the way just about any significant project, whether you're constructing a building or, 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 or doing process research or what have you, should be run. And that's the stage gate process. What was the origin? How, how did this start? Uh, I'd like to say that one day I woke up and had a, a brilliant <laughs> aha, eureka, this is the way the world ought to operate, and, but that didn't happen. Um, a number of years ago, I received, a, a, as a professor, junior professor, I received a government grant. And uh, the government, uh, the, I was going to do a study of a very complex study like any young PhD professor would want to do, very complex. And the, and the government guy giving me the money was looking at this and said, this is a very interesting. I don't have a clue what you want to do here. <laughs> but what this country needs are some damn good stories of innovators, entrepreneurs that launch new products. I think that you should write some of these stories. And I looked at the guy and I said, what do you think I am, a newspaper reporter? You know, I'm, a, I'm an academic researcher. I don't write stories. He says, do you want the money? I said, yeah. He says, write the damn stories. <laughs> so I went out and I hustled around and got my dean and a few other professors to help me find uh, some people in town and in, 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 in northeastern United States and in uh, that part of Canada where I was a professor. Uh, people who had done projects in big companies and typically I would walk into a company like DuPont was one of them. Uh, I want to talk to the guys that developed the product that you would use as a case study in a training program of how to do product development in your company. And that was always the premise. Give me the team and let me talk to them. And it's amazing the number of companies that were quite willing to cooperate because they wanted the stories written up too, you know, for posterity, for their heritage. And um, I started writing these stories, and it took uh, typically about two or three months per company. And after about 20 or 30 of them, I began to see there's a pattern. Whether it was a DuPont or a United Technologies developing a new jet engine or somebody developing a new telecommunication system, there was a pattern. These, it's, look, it's like these guys all went to the same school. And, and I began to realize that, that maybe we could integrate all of these things these different teams were doing and come up with a playbook. It's a bit like watching a football team, a winning football team, say like uh, Manchester United in the UK. And if you watch enough games, you begin to get an idea. There's a pattern here. They're doing something differently. And then you go to Spain and watch their winning team. And you see they have a pattern. And slowly but surely, you, you put, all to, put together all the pieces. So, so at first, we started identifying the patterns. What are the best practices? What is it that they, these teams are doing in common? Uh, some of the things, for example, every one of these guys broke the process into pieces. None of them went to the boss and asked for all the money. They, all, they took it in chunks. They knew how to manage their bosses. Another thing they did, they all built in voice a customer right at the beginning. They were very clever guys, these project leaders. Uh, very entrepreneurial, but very clever guys. And, 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 and after, after pulling all together the, the pieces, slowly but surely, somebody suggested to me, why don't you write it up as a complete recipe, like a cookbook based on the best chefs in Europe, okay? Except this is a new product guide based on the best project teams. And that's how StageGate was born. <laughs>